Hi, my name is Edwin. Today I will be taking you through a simple tutorial on how to solve the issue of lens distortion in match moving. The tutorial will only concentrate on the methods of solving lens distortion. I will not be going through the ways of solving or tracking this footage. This is so that the tutorial will be made as easy and simple to understand as possible and to concentrate on only the solving of lens distortion and not to confuse viewers on how to track or solve the footage later. With that being said, let's get started. Now I went ahead and did some auto tracking as well as I created a mask over the lady so as she would not be interfering with the tracking of the footage. Now I think that since the tracking is done, we can probably proper, properly go in and access as well as uh, solve the lens distortion in this footage. Now, at the top, which is probably probably been cut off here from my screencast, uh, you go to Setup, Access Lens Distortion Manual. From here, uh, so another window will pop up. Let me, let me increase the size of it a bit. Okay, another window here will pop up, and I've went ahead. Okay, let's look at uh, as well as the end of this footage. Now I've went ahead and added a calibration line which is just by clicking on onto this button, little button here and from here we can see that uh, as I said before that the door that the lady went in is looks a bit curved over here so uh, what we can do is that we can go ahead and try to um, minus off the uh, distortion from here by clicking onto one of the arrows right here and minus it off okay as you can see based on the calibration line the footage is all oh, is slowly slowly getting to be undistorted now we want to try to go into more of the uh, positive values and not to uh, much of the negative because the negative will make things look actually look actually worse than before. <laughs> now slowly increasing it such that you're taking this line as a reference, slowly increasing it such that it be the door becomes straight again. However, when when we are actually increasing the uh, what we what is known here as a letter R, which is actually the radial uh, distortion value in buju some of the most of some of the times we need to um, be actually even more sure of whether they are actually more this we're actually making the distortion worse at certain areas like for example uh, this door over here so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add another calibration line from here to here just to access whether this door is straight and yep pretty straight alright just to make sure that all Pretty straight. So summing things up, you can just easily go into the excess lens distortion uh, function in Buju and add a calibration line to to, to on a, a structure or something that you think that uh, you can make an as a take it as a reference and after that add the calibration line and add or subtract radial distortion add or subtract the radio, amount of radio distortion until the footage is still sort of straightened up so that all the lens distortion are sort of solved in this footage. So I'm going, I'm going to do now say that this footage is actually solved, the amount of lens distortion is actually being cleaned up. So I'm going to press OK.
Now, Buju, although it does not automatically up, update the uh, footage with the solving of the uh, lens distortion that we did just now, uh, as you can see, the door here is, is still bent. So you will need to export this footage up and then re-import it again in order for it to show. However, if you if you do take notice, was that the the Buju actually, if you go into the 3D view or something, the Buju actually updates the, uh, the amount of uh, tracking points so Buju actually recognizes that we have solved the uh, lens distor distortion in this footage but does not update the how the, the cosmetic looks of the footage of course how the footage looks uh, how the undistorted footage will look like well that's it I've come to the end of my tutorial I hope you find it very uh, interesting or and simple to understand most that's the most important thing so thank you very much and thanks for viewing it